Yo, 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 guys, this is Mini Sinky here with another Sonic Wave vo gaming voice cast. And today I'm going to be covering a topic on a game that's actually very exciting. This game really, it really came out of nowhere. And it's it's caused a very much a huge stir on the IGN boards and a lot of excitement. I mean, as with everything, you get the people going and they're complaining about things. But surprisingly, very, very, very little complaining is going on. Uh, you'll find it, but there's so much excitement and so much hype that's going behind this game now in a very short period of time, considering this game really came out of nowhere. It really just came into knowledge in the past two weeks, and we really just got the first glimpses at the game in the past three days. But, man, oh man, the, the, are those small, small glimpses we've gotten something already. I mean, I'm going to be posting up the interview to the... Well, posting up the article to the interview that Matt Casamassina had with the Climax team, which is the studio who's going to be working on this game. And don't worry, just because it's not uh, uh, the Japanese original team working on it, this is still turning out looking like an amazing game, considering when you read that article and you see the passion that those guys have for this project, you'll really be blown away by how much they are excited to even just work on the Wii platform. This is going to be a Wii exclusive game in the current gen console. However, it's going to be ported down to the PS2 and PSP as well. And uh, that game is the Silent Hill for the Wii. Well, if you didn't already guess that from the title. <laughs> anyway, it's called Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Uh, this is what you really need to understand and what you're going to hear time and time again in anything you read about this game. And what you really need to keep before you all the time is that this is not a remake by any means. This is taking Silent Hill 1, and it's... Uh, how should I put it? it? Imagine the Tim Burton movies, and how those were greats, and how that series how that series of Batman movies ended. And uh, then kind of look at how the Dark Knight movies have now taken that same plot, but made it different. Uh, technically, what Silent Hill Shattered Memories is, is a reimagining of the first Silent Hill game. Now, if this is going to turn into a series, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm not certain. They haven't made any clear uh, points on that yet. But as of now, this is taking Silent Hill 1 and is going to reimagine it in a different way with uh, the same characters and overall plot, but it's going to play them out in a far more different way. And the gameplay and the, the, the town itself, Silent Hill itself, is going to be somewhat different and, you know, it's very exciting. When you see the screenshots, and when you see the interview, and you hear what the tech they're pushing, the things they're doing, it's hard to put into words, really. And you're actually seeing some of the clips I'm putting right now through this through this voice cast, and I'm certain you're probably thinking the same thing. But, oh boy, man, how to really articulate how my feelings are for this right now. <laughs> the best way to say is that I'm hyped. Now, the state of Silent Hill as a whole, when you think about it, it's, it's it's seen better times. Actually, when you think about it, the entire survival horror genre has seen better times. Maybe not in terms of popularity. I mean, Resident Evil has set survival horror in mainstream. However, in doing so as well, I think they took out from what made survival horror survival horror. The uh, <coughs> uh, horror. And that's been stated by real fans. Now, Silent Hill has not been out of that argument either. Silent Hill 5, a lot of people believed, it not only did that game keep it safe and not really want to do anything different, because you know you, you need to push stuff and you need to do stuff different, but what they did do differently detracted again from the experience because the developers believed the only way to make the game better is by making combat better. And what they don't know is that 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 destroyed the whole feeling Silent Hill tried to go for by giving you this ultimate kick-butt hero guy who has huge muscles and can beat up anything within an inch of its life. That doesn't make it scary. It doesn't make it scary when you have some frat boy meathead with a gun. I'm not trying to, like, knock Resident Evil 5 or anything, but that game is not... It's not a survival horror game. It is an action game. And I understood the po the path Resident Evil 4 was going in, in that they needed they knew in that regard that Resident Evil was always about those kind of that kind of atmosphere, and it kept that atmosphere while upgrading the action because the Resident Evil uh, 
engine and everything they were doing with it was getting stale. And so Resident Evil 4, that was that was acceptable. But Resident Evil 5, they took out any they took out any kind of atmosphere or horror that was in 4 and they just removed it and just put action. And that that's the state because really Silent Hill and Resident Evil are the two leading uh, games in survival horror and you can see that from just those two games alone where that where this where the state of that genre has gone to. Now, Shattered Memories heard all of those pleas and saw all of those problems and they really said screw the fighting the new system has quite literally taken all weapons and all ways to fight back and they have removed it and on top of that and you'll read this in the articles that I set up on IG and you'll read this in the interview they have made the enemy smarter and they have made the entire game an open world environment. So instead of like the old Silent Hill games where every level was, uh, you had, you know, the breakups and stuff like that, you went through the separate levels. This one is going to be one giant open world. And they've advanced the enemy AI. And they made it so that the enemies can think, they can. Uh, gather in crowds, they can create plans to trap you and I guess there's a new engine that has only been hinted at that the guys over at Climax have hinted at, is that they're setting up an engine in this game that watches you as to what that means is, uh, I guess they set up uh, a sort of ID on what you do in the game and whatever things you decide to look at, say you enter into a room and this has been stated in the article. Say you enter into a room and uh, you've been given a certain thing you have to do. Like you have to get a map and you have to find out where you have to go. Say you head straight to the map and check out where you need to go. You look for where you need to go, mark it, run out of the room. The game will uh, ID what you've done and the fact that you're the kind of go-to kind of guy. You're just going to go and you're going to go out. You're not going to waste time in an area. And it's going to then begin to rearrange things, and the enemies will begin to rearrange themselves to be able to to, to be able to strike fear into you in your specific way. I can't remember what wording they used for it. Um, oh yes, called character. It's called character profiling. And according to the guys, this is supposed to be just a way in which they can form the game so that it watches how you act in your personality. And it begins to shape the game into your perfect monster. 